Hi there, welcome to Arbor Plus. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to add a new client and a new property and new trees to that property. We'll start by logging in. You'll start off by seeing your list of clients. If you're new, you most likely will not have anything. This is just um, test clients here. So to add your first client, you click on the upper right hand uh, plus sign and you're going to specify what type of client this is. So you click on that bar and you have all your options. We'll just say this one is an HOA. Name of this HOA, we'll call it Green Ridge HOA. Address of the company and it will auto fill it for you if it finds it, which makes it easier. So let's say it's in Green Ridge Drive, Oakland, and we'll save. It'll then ask you if you want to add a property to this client, and the answer is yes, so I'm going to click Add a Property. The name of this fictitious property is going to be Green Building. We'll call it Estates to make it sound nice and fancy. And the address is going to be different. Let's make another one up. Mission oh, Market Street, San Francisco. Sounds good. Okay. And of course, there's going to be a new contact associated with this. This is who the estimate will be sent to. So let's add a new contact. Let's call him John Deere. Phone number 510. And you want to make sure the email address is correct the first time because when you send it out from here, then it goes directly to that email address. So you want to fill in as much information as possible the first time so you don't have to go back and edit. So I'm going to click Save. All that information is right. And now I see it's created the property for me called Green Building Estates. Now if I wanted to go back out to my list of clients, tap the arrow back icon, and I don't see the Green Ridge HOA, so I'm going to pull down the list to refresh. And there it is, Green Ridge HOA. I go into there, Green Building Estates. All right, now let's add trees on this property, pretend I'm out there. And here I am, location at Green Building Estates. In the upper right corner is a plus sign. You want to add trees. Go ahead and tap on that so it's highlighted and now you are in your add tree inventory mode. It says tap to drop pin. Now either you're really accurate or you're not so accurate and you're going to use your the map. You can move the map around to adjust where that pin is. So say I actually wanted to go on this tree. Okay, so I'm going to say yes, that's the right location. Let's use that location. Now this is where we enter all the tree information. New photo. It's a picture of a picture on my iPad since I'm not out in the field. It's a good photo. I'm going to use that. And I'm going to specify the species. Live oak. Everything is also auto-filled, so you could click on that once you see it. The size of that, you could either choose to measure it or eyeball it. I'm going to say it's between 18 and 24 dBH. And then this is where you add your recommendation. This is where you're going to be generating your estimates. And in another tutorial, I'll show you how to make a new estimate and add to this es the estimate. In this one, it's just a general recommendation on a multiple year plan. So say I decide, you know what, this tree going to need crown cleaning click on that. So you have your general year recommendations. It's going to be this year, next year, two years, three years, four years. Let's put it for next year. So you have Crown Clean 2016. And it's auto-filled price of 215 but of course you could change that by clicking on the price. And up the ante, 650 and then you add it into the same year and it'll override the 215 so now you see 650 you click done to go back out you're going to choose the rating whatever your rating scales, scale is and so it's good is it near power lines? no, near building? no 
And then here you could add notes specific to this tree, whether it be for its health or the crew or even for the homeowner. You could say bird tr bird's nest in tree. Do not prune that limb. Or you could even say climbers beware. Bees nest in tree. So anything you put in your notes, it will be seen on the estimate by both the client and your crew. So let's click done and you, that tree is there. Now you could go ahead and add more trees. Drop a pin, use location. I'm gonna use the same photo. But if you do have the same species, it actually keeps all of the information that you had in the last go around. A lot of times when you're doing a row, maybe of redwoods, you're doing the same size, same tree, same treatment. So it keeps it auto-filled that for you. Now, if you were to add a new species, it erases all of it. Coast live oak. I'm gonna go through this really quickly. Let's say it just needs a clearance pruning this year. Rating, good. Don't need any notes. Or I could say just create building clearance. Done. Now you have two trees. So as you go along, you want to sync your trees to the cloud. I would say every 10, 20. You don't want to go more than about 30, 40 trees just in case you lose a signal and in the middle of your sink, it might create some issues. So we're gonna go ahead and sync by clicking the arrow icon in the lower middle. And it tells you it's synchronizing and when it's complete. So there you are, there's your new tree inventory on your new property with your new client.